All right, Shalom. 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 You know, we the real Hebrews are like, you know, uh, coming to you again, you know, with this truth. First and foremost, we got to give our praises, honor, and glory. Which is to say our praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. We got to give the honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, the true leaders of all Israel on earth today. Rarely can receive it and not much love citation to the actors scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth. Pushing his word and sincerity in the truth. All right, risking the lives of freedom to do so. All right, to you, we say Shalom. All right, three brothers of the, you know, GMS Cleveland branch. And we coming again with this truth, man. We're going to speak about some various topics, current events, prophecies. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully it'll be edifying. All right, it's a lot of stuff we were speaking about off camera that's uh, that's about to soon ensue. Dealing with hyperinflation, that's in the scriptures. Uh, um, you got also in the scriptures that uh, will come to mind, Second Edward 6, it talks about the the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You know, mm -hmm. you got uh, a lockdown that's about to ensue because you got E talking about this mutation strain of the Crown Royal 1-9 that supposedly spread amongst primarily children, and I guess it's stronger than the last one. So that will render this uh, new vaccine obsolete because they will have to keep coming up with one that's, right. you know what I'm saying, I guess strong for, for the new COVID. Well, so they actually said that the, mac the vaccine can uh, actually help fight against that. Okay. Yeah. See, what Esau, what Esau yeah. got to what, what do is he got to keep the fear going. Right. He got to ask because now you got a lot of people out there that's, they they, 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 they they not even, you know, really worried about it like that. Right. So you got a lot of people that ain't worried about that shit. No worry. So Esau got to do something to get that fear back in, into the people. Exactly. You know, and that's and that's why he's speaking about the new strain of it. Because if he said that this strain, new strain can do this and do that, all right, that's going to put that fear back into you. That's right. Which is going to motivate you to do what? Take the vaccine and then... All, and then Ultimately, take the RFID yeah, microchip. That's right. It's a lot of cringe-worthy videos circling around the internet dealing with different celebrities and different big public figures like Anthony Fauci, like uh, Joe Biden, and these different public figures who had already taken a shot via camera. And they trying to coerce our people, the so-called uh, minorities, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians, to uh, you know go ahead and taking that vaccine. You know, and they know it's a lot of skepticism because of the simple fact that. Like we mentioned yesterday, dealing with the Tuskegee syphilis experiment and other similar experiments. I remember the brother was mentioning the uh, Yawasapa here to speak on her. Uh, but the, the one woman who had, you know, different uh, uh, things extracted from her body against her will. You know what I'm saying? So there's skepticism amongst our people, man, dealing with Esau. And there should be because you shouldn't trust this devil, man. At the end of the day, you never supposed to trust this devil. Not ever. All right. So. Without further ado, if a brother can, Bible Kusha, get that Ezekiel first. <clears throat> At, uh, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll start at verse 8. Come on. It says, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord is telling our people, man. To not be rebellious. Don't be bucking up against them. The scripture say that rebellious rebelliousness is as the sin of witchcraft, witchcraft man. Wow. Which the judgment for that is death. So the Lord is telling my people not to be rebellious. Don't be rebelling against the Lord. The Lord say, don't make no cuttings in your flesh. You ain't supposed to be bowing down and serving other idol. You ain't supposed to take the mark of the beast, the uh, RFID chip, things of that nature, man, which we know that this vaccine ain't going to lead to. You about to get something No, I just wanted to get that word rebellious. Okay. All right? And it's on the just simple Google definition. It says, showing a desire to resist authority, control, or convention. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Lord is telling my people not to be, you know, pretty much resisting, resisting him. Go ahead, bring that back, verse 9. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 8. Be thou son of man, hear, Salakia, but thou son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Mm -hmm. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. Which is this role, all right? The Heavenly Father wants our people in particular, the nation of Israel, all right, to hearken unto his words, man. He said, eat that role. That means you're supposed to be reading, learning of the Lord. All right, spiritually consuming this role. Go ahead. Uh, verse 9, and when I looked, behold, and hand was sent unto me, mm -hmm. and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And that's mentioning, that's referencing the scriptures. Go ahead. Verse 10, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mournings and woe. And is not 
Lamentations, mourning, and woe coming into this place. Mm -hmm. You know what come to mind? Matthew 10, 34. I quote it often. I may sound like a broken record, but yeah, the Lord said what? Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace with a sword. Has America been made, been made great? All right. Is this place rebounding from the original crash of 2008? No. All right. Lamentations, mourning, and woe is coming. That's why people are, are, are complaining. That's why they had to pass this uh, stimulus, man, because people were complaining about the evictions that were about to uh, uh, occur. People were complaining about the uh, loss of jobs. People were complaining about, you know what I'm saying, pretty much their current living situations. Man. Um, Go ahead, Al. I got a quick precept. This is Second Edris, chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts, mm -hmm. cast away the burdens of man, put now the off the weak nature, mm -hmm. and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Lord is come. telling our people to do. You know, the things that, you know, might bring about depression that might make you sorrowful. He's telling you to cast really your burdens on him. That's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do. So you can be quickly without care. You know, cast any burdens and things you're going through of, upon the Lord. You got that definition? Uh, mortal, yeah, it's right here. Okay, uh, yeah, mortal is like that's where you get mortality, it's like dead, death, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's what a mortal thought is, you know what I'm saying? Like death, it's a cause you are liable death. to cause death, yeah, right, Fatal. right, yeah, Turn. yeah. Turn. So that's what mortal thoughts is, you know, you always constantly thinking about death. Uh, Truth to tell you that in the book of uh, Sirach, too, it also precepts to that that the brother was reading right there, put far from thee mortal thoughts. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it says that what you was reading. Yeah, that's that's yeah, the scripture, says, not exactly. the scripture. Oh, that's the spirit, bro. It's one in Sirach too. Bro. Yeah, get you know, get the precept. I can't yeah. mind, you know, because that all tied to it. And what I was thinking of a side note, not to take from what you're saying, but just to add to it, you know, the, the uh, other mortal thoughts would be anything that really amounts to sin. You right. know, wickedness. Carnal thoughts. Yeah, carnal Mercy. thoughts. You know, want to take matters your own head by saying something up? Anything outside of scripture because the scripture is life. So right, like, right, right yeah. Scripture is death. So thinking about you know bills, thinking about you know losing your job, right, just thinking about that's all right. real thoughts. Right, um, those right. are all burdens that could weigh heavy on you in this society. Right. Mm -hmm. Stuff mm -hmm. that took you out the spirit, stuff that put you in that woe is me spirit. Right, because the brother from Boston, he was going into that because he was saying that it ain't the truth that's, that's, a, burden. that's a burden to you. It's the things that you holding on outside the truth. That's a burden unto you that's making it your, your, your walk uh, right, harder. Right, right. right. So, Lockie, it's this last verse. Yeah. Verse 16, which is the point. For yet greater evils than, than those which thou hast seen shall be done hereafter. Right, so the things that we're going through now, it don't, it don't, it don't have nothing on what's about to really, really happen, man. Right. Like, you know, that, that we really have to, that we really about to have to go through. And that, and that just made me think of the scripture of... Uh, Amos 5 and 18. Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. That's so right. what end is it for you, man? Because the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. That's right. Um, okay? So like the brother said, man, hey, the, the things that we about to go through in Jacob's trouble, and I said the things that we are about to go through because, hey, man, the elect is going to go through these things as well, man. Right. Nate, right. okay? Because you got, you know, people out there saying that the 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 the, 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 the Lord's people are not going to have to uh, uh, face uh, Jacob's trouble. That's right. Okay? But hey, the, the Lord wants to show His power yes, by, right. by delivering the, His right. small remnant um, out of uh, of out of Jacob's trouble, man. Mm -hmm. right. That's that's facts. And not only Nate, but I was thinking of also General Yohanan, General, General Yohanan, Yohanna, because he leads our people down the path of destruction, that's telling right. our people to take the crown world one nine shot, man. Which is another topic for another day. But yeah, man, they leading they causing our people to earth. The leaders of our people cause them to earth. Real fast, the brother got a quick prayer, and y'all got it. Go ahead with that real fast. Going into you know the day of the Lord. Uh, this Matthew 21. Or Jacob's trouble, I'm sorry. And 21. It say, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. A great day of tribulation, man. All right. The Heavenly Father said that this is going to come, which has never been the like before, or ever shall be after. I got a quick Google definition of the word tribulation. It says, A cause of great trouble or suffering. Mm -hmm. A state of great trouble is yeah, same thing. Worry, anxiety. Um, I'm trying to see what other it says in synonyms, but yeah, man, a great uh, misery come to mind. All because you people walking in great pride. The Heavenly Father says that these things is coming. It says as as uh, synonyms, adversity, trial, burden, affliction, difficulty, man. These don't perilous times uh -huh. that the Lord said would occur. And this is what the brother is reading about. And this is going to happen in you people's lifetime. Go ahead. I was going to say that's why the scriptures say many shall seek death and shall not find it because. People don't want to face that reality of going through that hardship, going through that 
having to see your children starve to death or having to come to that realization where you might have to eat your own flesh. People don't want to go through that. They rather just die. You know, that's why scriptures say people shall, you know, desire to seek death and shall not find it. Right, because death is just easy. The Lord ain't just going to kill right. y'all. You see, the judgment, and we ain't got to go all into it, but just like Zechariah 14 and 12, he said, by y'all standing upon y'all feet, your eyes going to consume away in the sockets. You know, your flesh going to consume away off you. Things of that nature, man. All right, the Heavenly Father got a great judgment coming to this place all because right. your people is not hearkening to him, man. He said the same ones the Lord has death by pain. That's right, man. At the death by pain, pain. pain man. Y'all going to fit, y'all gonna have to learn of your how about shimmy out with shame, man. Man, the Lord got so much power, you can, you feel, you feel me, you try to blow your brains out, man. Right. And, and he keep your spirit in your Real body to feel time, that man. pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeremiah told you yeah. to come. He said that thou was stronger than I. God. There, there, that's what Jeremiah said. He said, Thou has a, I'm in derision daily mm -hmm. and a reproach, roughly paraphrasing. So, and and another thing that lets you know that the Heavenly Father is omnipotent because the brother was speaking about that, all powerful because he even did that to um these different uh, heathen kings like mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar, for instance. He made him think he was an animal. Mm -hmm. He eating but fucking grass and on his belly, like a, like a serpent. He, his nails grew long like claws and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, Ooh. yeah, the Lord is. Man, That's why the scriptures say that uh, God is a terrible power, a great king over all the earth, man. The Lord is a, a, a terrible power, man. And the Lord do he the worst thing he do us. So <laughs> right, you can use them as the example of how terrible the Lord. The scripture says, come see the, the, the thing that the Lord, how terrible he is to the children of men, roughly paraphrasing. Talking come. about the heathens, bro. The Lord be fucking heathens up, man. Worse come. than he do Jake. Huh. That's why they call. That's why the heathens called them Alasadi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Alasadi. Like Meaning like. a demon-like power, cause he's terrible in his power. Yeah, cause um, that's the that's Hebrew right. word for a demon. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Shod. Mm -hmm. You know. And the Lord about to show that side of him. You know, that's what's about to happen in Jacob's struggle. You know, two thirds of the nation of Israel who been rebellious as we opened up with. Y'all gonna see that demon-like power up side of you. How about Shimei Y'all ain't gonna get that merciful side because right now the Lord is being merciful. He's extending the hand right now through his servants, the prophets, man. All right? He's, he's, and I always think of, um, forgive me, because that one painting, I know it's going up, but I believe it's of Michelangelo, uh, the painting of pretty much the Most High reaching out, and I believe it's the, the anger, finger of God. The finger of God. That's the one I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And how the Most High is really extending his arm, and, you know, the image that they displayed of Adam, he's barely giving, you know what I'm saying, a big right, moment yeah, effort. Mark, you know, on. but that's how the Heavenly Father right now is extending the hand right now through his servants, the prophets. He's setting us up to give you people warning. Are right, we putting up these videos daily? Are right, we going to camp weekly? We, we, he allowing us to do so for a, not just a little bit of time, but for years upon years, man. He laboring. Real talk. He laboring to get this uh this information to you people, man. To mm -hmm. get you people to to we to get y'all the truth. We're laboring. Real talk. Day and night, man, for this, man. You know, man. and you and you people don't appreciate. It. I show you, Jake don't appreciate uh uh uh. uh Jake don't appreciate the Most High at all, man. It's the one that because the Lord don't want to kill Jake. The Lord, the Lord in the scripture tell you that. Yeah, the Lord take not pleasure in death. Yeah, come. Yeah. It, might, it might be another one. No, the Lord will take my He desire everyone to come back to repentance. repentance. Yeah, come, uh, mm -hmm. come. That's good too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Nah. And he, he, I'm thinking about the Old Testament in the book of Ezekiel where the, the, the Ezekiel literally said that the most I have not pleasure in death, man. Come. You know? Come. But it's pretty much, yeah, they all should repent. You know? that's, that's, that, that's the perfect precept where yeah. the brothers is quoting, man, because that's what the Heavenly Father wants. Mm -hmm. We want our people to repent and that's to what go the, back to being home. That's what the brother was speaking about. He was talking about old rebellious house. The one you you speaking about in Ezekiel oh, 2 when we God. opened up with, man. Yeah. You know, he said, hearken pretty much. He said, here, old rebellious house, man. The Lord wants you to take heed to the words that the prophets are saying because we're not speaking in vain. All right? These words that's on these books and on these pages are not just written in vain, all right? They have they have power, like Scripture says, second yeah. 15, and they are faithful and true. They like, have purpose. They have purpose. Meaning. Meaning. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the Scripture say? Um, Somebody get it for me. Uh, Reproving. I think it's in Timothy. Yeah, yeah, I got you. You, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, I remember we brought that out. It's been a minute, Oxalakia. So like, yeah. Don't think about that video I said with Omar, and we was bringing that out at the days for, for doctor. Yeah. Yeah. For reproof. He was like, 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 like woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the spirit, bro. That I'm a, he was turned up. I'm a, I'm a, I was moving. We was all in the spirit. But I'm going to always, when it comes to that scripture, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to always think about. When that scripture, we was right in front of the PNC Bank on Euclid, bro. We was teaching the Jake, bro. He was getting it. All of us was oh, third because the Jake was the, he was yeah, getting, he was oh, understanding yeah, what we were saying. Oh, mm -hmm. the older Jake. Yeah, older Jake. Yeah, older he was Jake. understanding what we were saying. And he was like, 
<laughs> that shit was turned up. I got hey, happy as a man that got found wisdom, man, to yeah. get up understand it. Because that's a it's a great it's a great feeling when someone else can feel what you felt on your day one of waking up to this truth, and you found out that everything that you was taught initially was lies, and that this is the truth, and this is the way, and you can be saved, and it's not all loom and doom. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a joy. You're just talking about the angels, how they oh, uh, they they, they uh, when when the one repent when one sinner repent up, the yeah. angels in heaven rejoice. Yeah. Rejoice, man. That's right. That's right. The brother got it. Go ahead, bro. In 2 Timothy 3 and 16, it says, done. All scripture is given by inspiration <laughs> of the Most High. That's right, man. All yeah. scripture, man. Yeah, when you go into the word inspiration, is one who inspires others. So that's what, uh, if you got the inspiration to do something, mm -hmm. somebody else inspired right. you to do it. Uh, so, right. for instance, with the prophets, then, the, you know, the, the prophets, first and foremost, they got the inspiration, and the scribes, that's what I want to uh -huh. say, the scribes who wrote these things down, you know what I'm saying, they got the inspiration, they was inspired by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baha Shemi, Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. So it says, Ooh, all scripture, so like you, I had to real fast, uh, when you're going to, what the brother just speaking about, again, still an inspiration, is G2315, Theo Nustos, forgive me on that pronunciation. Inspired by the Most High, the contents of the scriptures, at the, in the Strong's definition, it say divinely breathed in. All right? And kind of, you kind know of. what come to mind? Ephesians, the yeah. second chapter going to it. All right? How the, pretty much the Most High, he quickened us from the dead. He breathed into us this, this breath of life, man. Okay? That's what the, that's what the brother's reading about. Ooh. About the inspiration of your by Shemiel Shah. Go ahead, huh? Look up this word inspired on Google. It says means to excite, encourage, or breathe. Life into them. There it is. And the, did not the Lord do that, man? And, and, and guess what? That life is, is saying, it represents the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's right. So a, a, it says, inspire to excite, encourage, or breathe life into. And that wisdom, that breath is that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding That's to right. do this. That's right. To Ooh. do it. You got to do You got to, right. you know what I'm saying? You, the Lord got to be something with you in order to do this, man. Because if the Lord ain't something with you, you, you ain't going to get it. Was you about to get some shit already? Yeah, I got something. Hold on, hold on. I, 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 can't, finish it, I can't finish. Yeah. All right. It's a so lock, you, bro. You got it. No, you're good. You got it after that, uh, Shemar. It says 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Huh? All scripture mm -hmm. is given by inspiration of the Heavenly Father. But it That's right. All scripture. That's right. Every single word. New Testament. To Old, Old Testament. That's right. That's right. It's yeah. all given by inspiration of the Most High. That's right. It's all inspired by the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That's and right. that's the spirit. That's a beautiful definition that y'all brought out because it was talking about the breath, mm -hmm. ah, which that's the precept, bro. Listen, that's the precept that I got. Genesis two and seven. Get all of them. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> going back to when the heavenly Father breathed Breathe. the breath of life in, 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 in Adam's nostrils, and it also right. made me think of uh, right, kind like the brother said. That's the breath of wisdom. That's right. Which that's the precept to the Genesis two and seven. Someone had wisdom and Solomon. I forget exactly uh -huh. where is that. Is it two? I find it three. Bro. But then, and then it ma made me think of uh, Revelation 11 chapter where it say, uh, Revelation okay, 11, 11. Yeah, after three and a half and days. That's right. And hey, even uh, in the book of Genesis. Genesis. Yeah, that's his spirit. That's his spirit. Yeah, that's right. No, he on the same accord. No, right. 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 That's, that's the same accord. Yeah, yeah, that makes mm -hmm. it just funny. Uh, oh, yeah, it's like. Genesis. No, I think you might have been done. Was you done? No, no, no. Okay. Genesis 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration. No, 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 not Christ. Genesis. Second Timothy. Second Timothy. Second right. Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Heavenly Father and is profitable for doctrine, for mm -hmm. reproof, for correction. That's right. For slogging, for correction, <laughs> for instruction in righteousness. righteousness. And that's what that's what I was saying, man, that these words. That's written on these pages they ain't written just to take up space, man. Right. All right, they written because they faithful and true. They put correction and righteousness, man. The Lord is He has this. Oh, the scripture does not the scripture talk about a schoolmaster in the book of Galatians. All right, and how pretty much we were under the law. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 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 until we had until we until we had Yahweh by Shemel, I have to get the account for the proper breakdown. Forgive me, but yeah, the scriptures mention a schoolmaster, and when you go and read that chapter, it goes right into what the brother's talking about, man. Go ahead up. Oh, all right, it says that the man of the most high may be perfect, mm -hmm. thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That's the last verse. That's the point, though. Get your precept out, and I'm gonna look up the one that I quoted. It's Second Peter chapter, um, Second Peter chapter one, verse twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation, mm -hmm. for the prophecy came not in time, uh, in Salakia. 
For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, mm -hmm. but by holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. You're in the Spirit, actually. Right. Huh. You got no. me thinking of uh, something. Go ahead, say what you're saying. That was say. the Holy Spirit that moved our you know, forefathers and the See? apostles to elders to be able to preach this doctrine, to be able to preach the right doctrine all right, and continue in it so that now we could be able to grasp it, understand, learn, studying from it, and all that. We could teach it. That's right. You know, it wasn't given from the, the will of man. It was given from the Holy Spirit that the Lord sent to put on us to understand the scriptures, and then we go out and preach. That's a cut because a lot of people, you got a lot of people out there that uh, say that